こんにちは、皆さん。はじめまして、マックスです。お願いします。ボンジュー、コモタリブ、ジュマペレ、マックス。ヨルブルネル、ハセオ、マックス、ミダ。Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the brand new live video. For the girls, for the children, and for this hair color that is almost washed out. Oh my gosh. When will this color officially be gone? I told my mom, I was like, maybe I should bleach it this weekend. Like, just like bleach with like a 5 volume or a 10 volume so that way you can get light again. Color. You do? I don't. I do. It washes me out. Huh? It's like a caramel. Yeah, it does. It, no. It blends in <laughs> with my skin too much. It, it actually does. Especially it on actually, camera, it looks really bad. Yes, it does blend in. And this was supposed to be、uh, pale. You look beautiful today. Hi, I, Max. Every day is a beautiful day. In the neighborhood. Isn't that from like <laughs> Mr. Rogers or something? Yeah. <laughs> How is everybody、no. doing today? <laughs> Ow. Welcome back to another brand new live video. You guys, today we have a special model that came to visit us all the way from New Mexico. It's not Savage Wapa, it's Savage Wapa's cousin. Hey! What was your name again? Oh, Tina. Tina! <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> See, that's what happens when you get to be my age. You forget things. And then my dad has dementia, so I have a get out of jail free card. <laughs> Hey, man. Hi, my love. So, we have Tina all the way from Roswell, New Mexico. Yes. From yes. the place where the aliens landed, allegedly. Yes. Because Area 51 is not in New Mexico, right? No, it's not. It's, it's in not Nevada. It's in Roswell. That's where they took them.、Uh, apparently, the first UFO crash in, was in Roswell. Oh, and then they took them to Nevada? Area 51. They took them to outside of、mm -hmm. Vegas? Oh. Supposedly. So, can you go to where they landed? Um, it's, a, it's a farm. That's awesome. I'm just going to go on. And there is a big old crater there. Really?、Uh, but I don't know. What does the government say that's inside the crater? That's crazy, huh? I don't know, but they say they're there. I've seen some stuff, though, Max. Really? I've seen some crazy stuff in the sky. <laughs> Did you see, like, why would they choose Roswell, New Mexico? Hmm, it's a good question. Maybe it's the CTR is over there. Crazy Town Roswell. <laughs> <laughs> I thought CTR was like something with Roswell. I don't know. Sis is looking fly today. It is Jojo g a d e y queen of Roswell, New Mexico. She's queen of New Mexico. Yes. She's the queen of the powwow. She, you know, when they do the big powwow out there, in, I think it's in Albuquerque, they have like this giant cake, and then Jojo <laughs> comes out of it just covered in eagle feathers, and that's it. <laughs> and and that's fry it. bread. And a little piece of fry bread right in between the cheeks. And then,、yes. if you win the draw, you get to eat the piece of fry bread. Yep. <laughs> For the fantasy. So, today on Miss Tina, I didn't know that she is, uh, uh, she's been watching my live streams for a long time, she said. And then she found out that her, her relatives work here. And then, Nana Jenny, who is my, my hair inspiration, <laughs> because we have the same very, very ashy hair color right now. And the same, if I do my hair to the front like this. Like,、oh, you might think it's、twin. Nana Jenny. It's definitely her twin. It's <laughs> Nana Jenny. So, we're going to use, because she's a Maximum fan, we're going to use Maximum Stiletto. So, the Maximum series is a very long one, two, three, go series, and it's on the flat side. So, I know a lot of people like flat nails right now, especially the Hot Cheeto girls. Are you a Hot Cheeto girl? I'm a Hot Cheeto girl. Are you really? <laughs> I am, Max. Oh, no. I, I love my hot Cheetos with、uh, nacho cheese. And a little bit of lemon juice on top? You know what? And that's the only way I eat nacho cheese. The、really? only. Yes. It's、mm. with hot Cheetos. That's it. If I eat nacho cheese, I get diarrhea. Really?、Mm -hmm. Are you lactose? <laughs> um, I kind of. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> When I had gastric bypass surgery, the doctor told me not to consume milk products anymore. So、oh. I haven't had milk in like 13 years. Yeah, my brother in law、uh, got that surgery a year ago and、oh. he's doing well. He's doing well. And、uh, I think I want to. I think I want to jump on that t r a i n You're not morbidly obese, though. But I have、uh, hypothyroidism. You have to be at which... least 100 pounds to qualify for gastric bypass. Believe it or not, Max, I'm, 200 and... I'm 219 pounds. Really? How tall are you?、I'm、Looking at getting into BMI. Your BMI.、Uh, oh. No! It be in my s c a l e w i s e I will be probably... barely over, but I have a hypothyroidism where it does not allow me to lose, lose weight. weight. Yes. Have I, you tried Ozempic or like、uh, Trizepatoid, like Manjaro? I have it, but I'm going to talk to the doctor about、um, taking a medication. Life changing stuff. Life changing stuff. My life changed.、Really、my life changed after the year. Oh,、own. I know. I see. That's what I'm like. Girl. That、really? and, and then you can chase the dragon that it helps you lose a lot of weight too. See, I've, I've chased the dragon before. That's not the case. And it's the year of the dragon, so it goes hand in hand. Don't want the dragon anymore. 
So we're gonna use Maximum Stiletto, we're gonna use Cancer Glitter, and I think maybe some Glow in the Dark Acrylics, what do you guys think? Or should we do Neon Inks? I'm gonna let you guys decide. Yes, what should we do? Oprah's on Ozempic, everybody's on the O. girl. Congratulations, my love, it is, I always tell people that choosing to do bariatric surgery Ozempic is- Ozempic is good. It, it has changed the life of so many people. And also bariatric surgeries, but like I always tell people they always, especially when I got it done, like it was a big thing because I did it like almost over 10 years ago. So like a lot of people were like, oh my God, it's the way out. It's the easy way or this and that. And it's nothing is the easy way out. Oh no. They're tools. They're definitely work, tools. Yeah. All of all of the weight loss surgeries and, and medications are all tools, but it really has to come from the inside. It has to the want because a lot of people get uh, get bariatric surgeries for example and then within the first five years they gain it back oh yeah i have another cousin who did it uh four years ago and she lost it all and now she's back to victoza is a derivative of sixenda so they're on the same line but that one you have to do i think every day right y'all have to watch wow. oprah's new show on weight loss hi so before we get started, you guys, you know that the promo code this month is GREEN20. Again, that promo code is GREEN20 because it is the luck of the Irish this month. It uh, already passed though, but still, it's a great easy promo code to remember. So that way, if you want to save 20% off your entire purchase, use promo code GREEN20 at checkout. And we have all of our scoops available right now, so make sure you snatch them up. Especially the Super Scoop, it is fire. The Super Scoop is said magnifique. So, enough of me rambling, you guys. Let's turn this camera around and begin the snatching of the phalanges because we got some long for Landry Fantasy is today. But I'm gonna let you guys decide. So should we do... Should we do Cancer with Neon Glow in the Dark Acrylic? Or should we do Boom Boom Glitter with Neon Inks? I will let you guys decide. Tiffany said, I ordered three scoops, Max. Oh, awesome. I hope you love them. And don't forget, if there's something you want, order it. Like, I had seen somebody emailed me and they're like, this girl was doing a review on her scoop and she's like, I wish I would have gotten the black and white foil. And I'm like, but it's a mystery box, so why yeah, are you complaining about it? Where I, it, The math is not mathing. I bought a mystery box, but I didn't get what I wanted inside the mystery box. Where one plus one equals five. Yeah. It's, it's not, called a scoop for a reason. Yes. And if you make a video complaining about your scoop, then you really should re reevaluate. So Mo put boom boom glitter with neon inks. Period. Hello. Boom, 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 boom with neon ink. She has really pretty nail bits too, doesn't she? Thank you. So we're going to push back the cuticle area. Get everything nice and clean, clean, clean. Push, push, push. Hey, girlies, can someone share the difference between scoops? I think it says on the website what the difference is. There really isn't any, I mean... It's based on like, for example, one scoop is gonna be definitely a lot bigger than the other, or like certain scoops will have certain items in them. But no scoop, you can say like, oh, I expected to have this or I expected to have that because they are mystery items. Somebody don't understand the word mystery. <laughs> Somebody didn't pass English 101. Oh my God, we're so shady. Neon ink, we got a lot of neon ink. Really, you guys wanna see the neon ink, Fantasia? She has a little bit, what is this, acrylic? Yes. So do you do nails like in a salon or out of your house? Or out just of my house. I just do them on myself, Matt. Oh, just on yourself? M mine and my daughter's. Okay. In the Roswell. Yep. I don't got time to be a nail tech, unfortunately. Why not? Because I like the big money, Max. There's big money in nails. There is, but not in Roswell. The girls there are so... <laughs> They're plain. They oh. don't like nothing. What are the strip clubs called out in Roswell? You know what? We don't have one. What do you mean you don't have there one? There is no. There is one club in my town, and it's called Epic. Epic uh, Strip Club. Epic Gentlemen's no, Club. No, it's just the uh, just the regular bar club. There is no strip clubs. There is no. Um, uh, For reals. There is no anything like that. Naked aliens. We can call it um, the Lenaris Castle Strip Club. In the next town. Jenny's. After Nana Jenny. <laughs> oh, she is the strip club. <laughs> Gen Jenny's Cabaret. But 20 minutes from us is another little town called Artesia. There's a strip club, the Pink Slipper. The Pink Slipper. <laughs> but they say they're uh, strippers with no teeth and 
crackhead looking. Oh, there's a place in Phoenix like that. It's called Band Aids. Oh yes, it's horrible. In Artesia, New Mexico, that is where yeah, I want to be. <laughs> so we're gonna get our famous skinny sending band in Mandrill. Has anybody been to Artesia, New Mexico? Let us know in the comments below. Or Roswell. Or Roswell. I've never been to New Mexico. Truth be told, the products are good quality, so worth the mystery. And sure super is. affordable, too. It is. I love the scoops I got. I loved every bit of it. And then some. Yes. I mean, you're right. Your products are truly amazing. I love your products. Oh, thank you. And thank you for supporting American companies and American manufacturing. Oh, yes. It means you the know, world to us. I, when a, a press or however you say there. Oh, we don't talk about other brands. Oh, okay. But y'all are so much better. Period. Period. You heard it direct from the cat's meow. It is, your products are quality. They do last. They are fire. Fuego, fuego. They really are. Hi, Max. I love all your products and it would be awesome. Some of your products did have Bible verses. What was that? It would be awesome if some of your products had Bible verses. Oh, it would, but I also don't want to offend people. And um, I don't want to put like my faith or anything like that in anybody's face. And that um, that's just, you know, uh, I I, my agree. personal choice. Yeah, no, I kind of agree. A lot of people have different uh, faiths and religions. And then we sell all over the world, too. So, like, I think maybe here in America, people would get, probably get it, but, like, Somebody that buys our products, maybe like in Japan, would be like, why is John yeah, yeah. underneath the bag or like inside the, the tip box or something like that? So it wouldn't make sense to anybody. Aussie put, I understand. And people get offended about anything nowadays. So like I heard that, that somebody says, oh, like have a blessed day or something like that. I've heard that some people get offended by that. Oh, yeah. Even like people who say babe to everyone, I've heard on a live that they got so offended with these like... Oh, you're done, babe. And she's like, could you not call me that? Really? <laughs> and she's wow. like, I see that offensive. That's sexual. And she's like, you don't talk to people like that. Anymore. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. And she's all, it's cultural. You're like a little sensitive. <laughs> yeah. Take it down, girl. Take it down a notch. Yes. We're going to go in with a coat of nail prep they to do. bounce out the high he nail prep. He puts through into his product. He puts thought into his products and his products are signature. So it's worth it. Sure is. Amen to that. So then we're gonna go in with a little coat of primer on the nail bed for Landry Fantasia. And you guys know our primer is non-acid. Like how you can say Merry Christmas, you have to say Happy Holidays. Seasons greetings. Warm wishes. And then we're going to go in with Maximum Stiletto for Maximum Impact. My face. Because everybody knows Uncle Max lives, loves a good long phalange. Oh. At, in Artesia, at the strip club in Artesia. The Fantasy. The Fantasia. Oh, look at that length. The longer the nail, the closer to Jesus. <laughs> it's not like the saying, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop. <laughs> it could be. Max, I remember this one. I did this one. Which one? One that I'm rerunning. Are you sure? If I can remember all the products on there, then yeah. But is it coming up as fulfilled or unfulfilled? Unfulfilled. Like, not even the paper's around. The bigger the hoop. Your mother must be so proud of you and all that you have accomplished through the years. I hope so. I'm I would sure hope she so. Is. The bigger the hoop, the <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna uh, forget that. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop. I learned something new today. <laughs> that's new, Max. That's been around for years. Really? <laughs> yeah. But you have to have your last name in the hoop. Yeah. For sure, that is original. <laughs> if not, then it doesn't count. This is ten seventy nine. Is it the label? No. Did he check on shipping easy too, just in case? No. Because sometimes it won't uh, translate. But then where's the tape? Where's the text? I mean, the paper. 
We want to make sure the nail fits side to side like Ariana Grande says. Yes. Perfect. Put on black label medium square but decided I want almond instead so I'm using city no. almond. That's crazy. How is your guys' day going by so fast? Hi Max, I'm Hi. taking Claudia to the airport. Are you really? I'm going to miss you Claudia Petrovsky. Do you sell the rubber hand on your sites? Rubber hand? We have a practice hand. We actually discontinued the silicone hands. They did not sell well. And um, they, we decided to no longer uh, have them in production. So we don't have them available anymore. But we do have the Give Me a Hand practice hand, which is a little bit more um, anatomically correct for practicing, I feel. And more comfortable, too. Have a safe flight. Come back soon. And then I need you to, uh, Claudia Petrovsky, if you're watching, I need you to mark your calendar for June 4th, Disneyland. That's my birthday. And you have to go with me. Because you were supposed to June go last year. June 4th is your birthday. It June is. June 5th is my daughter's birthday. Really? That's yes. my mom's birthday. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And then July 5th is my mom's birthday. Really? Yes. When is Nana Jenny's birthday? Hers is June 27th. Is she a June baby? Yeah, That's June why. Too. But she's a cancer. Mm -hmm. By a day. So we're going to mark where the smile line is. What is everybody saying, my lovely? Nothing yet. A lot of people joining. Hello. Thanks for joining us, you guys. So what did you guys decide? Should we do the neon acrylic or yeah, neon... Yeah, we got a lot of uh, neon inks. Uh, inks. Neon mm -hmm. inks? Okay. The girls want the inks. And I've yet to try my ink, so I have, oh, really? I have a, a couple that came with my scoops, but I've yet to try them. Okay. So excited. That sounds fun and sexy. So let's use... <laughs> yeah, I'm a July 26th baby, too. Really? Yeah, that's my birthday, too. So you are... What is July 26th? What sign is that? I'm a Leo. Oh, you're a lion. Yeah. The fierce. Where is my silver sequence for the Fantasia? <laughs> so let's use. Frozen glitter. Oh, this one has some big chunks in there. Ooh. I haven't used the inks yet either, I don't think. And I have them all. Really? Well, today's your lucky day. Girl, you better get on it if you have them all. <laughs> She's ready. She just needs the idea. And that's yes. what we're going to do today. So we're going to use... Frozen is a six-pack of glitters. We're going to use the sequence, and we're going to apply some in the inside of the phalange. I bought the same chair you sit in. I love it. Awesome. I'm actually working on one for later this year. I love my black label, extra small, natural coffin nail. They are perfect. Oh, I'd love to hear that. Thank you. You can put your hands to the back now, my love. We don't need them just yet. So we're going to use, of course, Peak Magic Fast Dry. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of Racer Clear. I want to go to New Mexico now so we can go hang out. Oh, it's so fun, Max. Don't they shoot a lot of movies and things like they that do, now? They in Albuquerque. You know, um, what's that one series? Uh, I know Netflix opened up like a big movie studio out there. Shoot, what is that one series? Stranger Things? No, it's like, he's a drug war. Oh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, there you go. Yes, that was in Albuquerque. That's where they shot it? Yes. Wow, were you in it? No, unfortunately... I didn't live there when it was happening. What about Nana Jenny? No, I don't think she's gone over there. No? Oh, you know what? No, she has passed through. She says she had gone to um, Carlsbad before. Carlsbad? Carlsbad, New Mexico. Where is that? That is about an hour and a half away from me. Is it a nice little place? Um, not really. It's a lot of oil filled. Um, oh, so it smells funny? Yeah, it's a lot of oil filled people out there. Uh, it's more like a work town than anything. Oh. Yeah. A town where people go and work and then they bounce. Yes, pretty much. They go to it's... Artesia for the toothless strippers. <laughs> they do. <laughs> you see all them truckers lined up there. 
in Artesia. At the pink slipper, y'all. At the pink slipper, that's where we need to be. There's a hot spring resort near Albuquerque. I want to go. Ooh. Ooh, I need to find out where that's at, too. I, rec I would recommend the Hot Air Balloon Festival. Super beautiful. Oh, yes, I've gone and very beautiful. When is that? Um, that happened like in March, February. Oh, doesn't New Mexico also um, have a lot of fireworks? They do, but you know what? They hadn't been doing them. So our town, um, about four years ago, they had an accident and the whole thing went off and killed uh, three firemen. Oh my gosh, fireworks yes. did? Yes, and so they stopped doing them. And I think they did it last year, but I wasn't there. Uh, they started again last year. But, oh, Albuquerque... So Rio Doso is like 45 minutes away. It's mm -hmm. so beautiful there. It's like cabiny, uh, foresty, you know, you have all your, it's woodsy. Oh, wow. And uh, they do this amazing firework over this lake. Mm -hmm. oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. It, it's known there for their fireworks. Wow. Yeah, because I know a lot of people here from Arizona go to New Mexico to buy fireworks. Yes, they do. Because they're cheaper there and... Um... Do you have more of a variety of fireworks than you can get here in Arizona? Oh, because you do. Here, for the longest time, you couldn't buy fireworks legally. Yeah, you can. Mm -mm, because the ground here is not good for fireworks. Because then everything so will dry, catch on fire. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine so. And see, depending on, like, yeah, how dry it is during the years, too, they will cancel. Really? Oh, that's scary. It's so windy. New Mexico is a very windy city. Really? I got to say, it's, it's pretty windy all year long. Oh my gosh, really? Yes. Who's ready to go to New Mexico with us? We should do a nail. I don't think that, that many people would go for a nail class out there. It's probably a little bit too too rural, huh? It, it is. Like like I said, it's it's not really big out there. You know, as much as you come to like these bigger cities. Uh, you know, the, people are so plain, old-fashioned, like... <laughs> uh, all mostly I see over there is just French French. I know the people that work at Trader Joe's when I go there sometimes they tell me that like they hear people from New Mexico come to Trader Joe's here in Tucson because there isn't any out in New no, Mexico. No, there isn't. Are there are these going to be applied like press ons? Um no, they're gonna be applied like one, two, three go nails, my love. So today's your lucky day if you have not seen our applications. We method. have smoke everywhere outside right now because there is a fire on one one of the mountains my country is surrounded by. Where are you at? What country is that? Let's put our racer clear away. And then we're going to use let's use good old fashioned clear press on gel as our base today. So a nice coat. I'm not gonna trim her cuticle because her hands are slightly clammy. Do you have you noticed that you have slightly clammy hands? Oh yeah. So I don't want to trim anything because that has to do with my hypothyroidism. Oh yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. So because of the excess moisture on her hands, if you trim the cuticle now, it will pull. Yes, and then we'll get hangnails or we could break the skin. So I'd rather do it once it's more dry and yes. once it's um, already blended in. So that way, when we clean, it'll be a nice clean swoop versus now. So it's good to analyze that, you guys. And then your clear press-on gel, kind of rub it in so that way we get really beautiful and strong adhesion for the fan to see. County, not country. I'm in Shenandoah, Shenandoah, in Virginia. Oh, okay. There we go. We're gonna bake that now for one minute inside the king lamp. Put our nails to the side. Get this out of the way. There you go. I need to get this lamp. Max. Oh my gosh, this lamp is iconic. Often imitated, never duplicated. We're going to take some clear bubblegum gel. And then we are going to apply a little bit of primer on the inside of the nail just to chemically etch it. Are you excited for your long nails? I am. I've been waiting for this moment for years, Max, I gotta say. 
Really? Got to say. You sound like a Kelly Clarkson song. You're like, from this <laughs> moment. No, that's Shania Twain. I am a big fan. I love your style. I just love it all. She was like, Max, you're so skinny in real life. I was like, no, I'm not. Oh, y'all, he is tiny. He'd be lying. He's tiny. <clears throat> I need to lose like 20 more pounds. From where? From my thighs, <laughs> from my where? love handles. You will disappear. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> We're going to take a clear bubblegum gel, pat it out nice and thin on the inside for the fantasia. I still have my first jar of clear bubblegum gel because I use the color bubblegum gel. Oh, I love, the pink is my favorite. But we're going to do clear fine. today because we are um, going to be doing the design with Maxi Neon inks because that's what the girls chose. So remember you guys, when using bubblegum gel, less is more, pat it out nice and thin. Max is crazy, he looks amazing. <laughs> Telling you, girl, I told him that too. I want to be so thin. I want to wear. He wants to disappear when he turns to the side. Yes. <laughs> They'll be like, "Where did Max go? I'm right here." And then I pop out again. <laughs> you have to say Beetlejuice, 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 <laughs> and then I come out. They actually released the first image of the new Beetlejuice movie. It comes out later this year. Do you like Beetlejuice? I do. Really. I wonder if Gina Davis is going to be in I fell in love with the light pink the first time I used it. Oh, isn't it pretty? It's so soft and neutral. And cool pink is really pretty too. Okay, let's put this away. And now we're ready to slap these bad boys on. A strong breeze will blow him away. You'll have to tie some string on him. <laughs> God willing. That's what he wants, y'all. <laughs> We're going to press down firm. Look at that length. She is all oh, given everything. And then we're going to freeze it for a few seconds. Look at that, how fast and easy that is. Oh, I love it. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at her cuticle area. Why? Because her cuticles are actually very, very um, deep. Not deep, but like they have a really pretty curve to them. And the maximum nail has a more flat curve. So I'm going to blend it in really well with our drill right now in a minute. He would have to have been blown away here yesterday. The wind was crazy. <laughs> I'm going to be gone with the wind. Fabulous. I'm not sure it's not wonky. Perfect. And this one a little bit to the side. Perfect, perfect. And then freeze it for a few seconds. Yeah, my daughter's excited to see what fantasy she we're going to do today. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we're going to go in with a little bit of Wonder Gel on the inside to seal the inside and make these nails shine bright like a diamond. Are you going to go see J Lo in concert? You know what? I really don't like J-Lo. You don't like J-Lo? Uh, what about... Who else is going to be on tour? Mm, Nicki Minaj is on tour right now. She was in Phoenix not I that long Nicki. ago. Kanye, I think, was in Phoenix too, not that long ago. I don't like Kanye either. No? I, I really don't like his music. What about Madonna? Did you go see Madonna? You know what? I loved her first stuff. The OG stuff? Uh-huh. She um, had a lot of songs from the 80s in, on this store because it's her greatest hit store. Yeah, you know what? Uh, one of my family members just went and saw Madonna. And? Did they like it? Oh, they did. I had fun. She's a fan. It was just really late. Like, it was past my bedtime. The concert didn't start until, like, after 10. Was she late? Well, she's always late to her concerts is what they're saying. Oh, wow. So here I was like, oh my god, why is she so late? late? But I kind of already knew that she was going to be late. And it was over, like, nearly at 2. In the morning? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. She don't play. She don't. She's an idol. Like Nana Jenny. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bake these bad boys now for one minute inside the king lamp. Ooh, I love it. Let's get our fantastic file ready. My daughter was coming inside and the wind blew the screen door out of her hand. Oh my. That's scary. P. 
kill the old one off. Oh, I love those files. I love Aren't they those dope? Files. Yes. They're a game changer for sure. So is the fry bread really good out in um, New Mexico? Oh, yeah. Max, I'm like the queen of tortilla making too. Really? Yes. You have to bring me some tortillas then. Yeah, my husband. You know what? Some I tortillas. Uh, my husband says it's the best. Really? I love I a good tortilla it. for breakfast. Yes. That's the way to go, Max. Just a nice fresh tortilla with a little bit of butter. Oh, yes. Always have to have it like that. Or we can make cheese tacos in the microwave. Oh, iconic. I, you know what? Nobody likes to do that anymore. I love... Uh, the poor man's quesadilla. Yes, They're, I love it. When you're in a hurry and you just want something to eat really quickly, just pop it in the microwave and you got yourself a cheese taco. You're telling me. And boom, you're done. I, I do that with tortilla, uh, tortilla chips and then put some cheese on there and put it in the microwave. I just love them like that. <laughs> It's uh, it's trashy, but it's delicious. It is. <laughs> it's ghetto, but we live for the ghetto. We live for the ghetto. It is what it is, right? <laughs> it's so good, and it gets it done. Like it gets the job done really quick. Oh yeah. Fast snack. Fast little snacky poo. What is my boot? I think she is gonna soak it for a little bit. I love this length. She is Me serving. Too. And she just a little bit of glitter. Even. Everything. Do you like them really sharp or like more softer? Um, I, I like them sharp, rounded, either way, Max. We're going to do in between then, so that way it's not too sharp, so that way she doesn't okay. poke her eye out. And then she's going to be like, I love you, Max, but I'm missing an eye now. <laughs> I don't stabbed it. <laughs> That's not necessarily the best option, but it uh, it can happen. Actually, it did. It happened when I was in beauty school. The teacher, she got her nails done by one of the girls that there. Her name was Priscilla, and um, she did them really sharp. Like she would file them going up, so that way they have the like the yeah yeah like a Batman curve. So she, I guess the teacher was drinking, and she like hit her head, and on I don't know how she hit her head, but she like fell asleep on the toilet or something like that, and she scratched her eye out because oh with the freshly done nails. So it can happen. I do the same thing, tortilla chips, the seasoned taco cheese, or I get beef from Taco Bell and add that too. <laughs> and you're good to go. See, we're not the only ones, Max. See? <laughs> I might look bougie, but I'm trashy on the inside <laughs> with my cheese tacos. People make fun of me because I like Del Taco. You know what? I never had Del Taco. Oh my God, it's so good. I, I love Taco Bell. You know, so I'm. I want to try Del Taco. We all have right our there. moments where we're like, some Taco Bell just sounds good right now. It hits the spot. Yeah. Oh, especially when you're drinking two in the morning. <laughs> That's what I always wanted. The one that I think is like really overrated is um, In and Out. I don't care for In and Out. Oh, me neither. I think it's horrible, honestly. It doesn't taste like anything. Like Water burger. Cheese is plastic for one, and I'm like. <laughs> Their French fries are so cheese? gross. Yes. No, I don't like them. I haven't had Shake Shack, but I heard it's pretty good. Um, I haven't had that either. Awesome job on nails, they're beautiful. Thank you, my lovely. I miss the Burger King tacos, we love them. Oh yeah, they were so good! <laughs> Burger King tacos are iconic. Did they take them out? Because where I'm at, they still have them. Really? No, they were only here for like five minutes. Oh yeah, well, we still have them in my We're going to use the refined bit to go in. In and out fried are the worst. My daughter works at Taco Bell a minute down the road. Really? Oh, the hookup. Yes. <laughs> where, so we can go stalk her. Be like, hook it up, girl. Bust out. Your mama told us where you're at. For reals. <laughs> Sharing is caring. I never tried the enchiladas from Taco Bell, but they must have been bomb. Do they have enchiladas? They had them for like a minute. Now they have like this empanada. Oh yeah, I did see the empanada. I haven't tried it though, have you? I have not. And then McDo uh, McDonald's is opening up their second Cosmics already too. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Have you heard about that? No, I have not. Cosmics is like... Um, you know, I'm not... Uh, my daughters love McDonald's, not me. I haven't had McDonald's in a minute. I like the french fries more than anything else, but um, it's like the McDonald's equivalent of Starbucks. So it's mostly drinks and snacks. Really? And the first one was opened in Illinois, which is where the McDonald's headquarters are. And then the second one is opening up in Texas. Hmm. So we have to do a little road trip so we can go try Cosmics. Yeah, right? Let's go in and blend, blend, blend. For the fantasy. What's that bit you're using? This one is called the refined bit, my love. The refined bit. Mm -hmm. Taco Bell also used to have a bomb taco salad and a tortilla bowl. Oh yeah, I remember that. And they used to have a protein bowl, but I don't know if they still have oh, it anymore. Yeah, they did used to. I'm not sure either if they have it anymore. The Taco Bell protein bowl, or the, was it the Baja Fresh Bowl? The Something Baja like Fresh that. Bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I heard they were gonna do like a. A Mountain Dew pie? I was like, that just sounds oh, wrong. Oh yes, I did hear about that too, yeah. That just sounds like diabetes. It didn't look too good. I don't like Mountain Dew. Well, you know what? I actually do like the Baja Blast. Really? Uh-huh, that's the only one that I like. Well, I don't drink soda, so. Oh yeah, you're off of it now. I have not had soda in over a decade. Hello from Germany. Hi, guten tag. Thanks for joining us today, lovely. So, I think they still have the protein balls. We're gonna go in with the easy bit to really blend out the cuticle area. We need to check it out. Get us some protein balls at Taco Bell. I wish the nachos were better though. Oh yeah, me too. Taco Bell needs to step it on their nacho game. Again, like I said, I don't really like the nacho cheese, so yeah, it's not cutting it for me. Mm, now I need a cr crunch wrap. A I'll crunch, do oh. Food talk. <laughs> Doritos, Locos, Tacos, uh, light sour cream. I don't drink caffeine anymore, but I hated the Baja Blast. Was it? What does Baja Blast, Blast taste like? Hmm, huh, what does it taste like? Tropical, like a tropical soda. Really? Do you remember Sprite Remix, or was it 7-Up Remix that tasted kind of like fruity like that? I think it was 7-Up Remix. Hello from the Bay Area. Hi, thanks for joining us today, lovely. We did these nails really fast, huh? Yeah. We don't play on the south well, side. they're not called one, two, three, go for no reason. We don't play in New Mexico. <laughs> I get the nachos without the liquid cheese and get the shredded cheese. Oh, that so sounds I good. To, I need to try that. Have you had Los Betos or, or nachos from a place like that yet? Oh, yes. I went to Nico's this uh, this week and oh, it was so good. Say Max in Rosal. They have new Mexican. It's not Is it like Tex-Mex? It, it's more like Tex-Mex. Yes. Like melted yellow cheese yes. and olives on top? Mm -hmm. Even though I do like how that tastes. I do too. But they're, everything's like, okay, you know how we have like fried uh, chimichangas here? Mm -hmm. Everything's like deep fried here. Over there, everything's smothered. A smothered burrito. Everything is smothered. With green chili? Green chili or red chili, but everything is smothered. Really? Yeah. Oh, aren't the Frito pies from New Mexico? That I'm not sure. Like it's like the Fritos and they put chili and, and yeah, cheese no, on top? Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, but I honestly don't really see that much there. Really? I thought it was. I could be wrong though. My favorite right now from Taco Bell is just the regular Doritos taco with a side of rice. Delicious. And then Lotto Burger is from New Mexico, isn't it? Yes, Lotto Burger is. You know, I don't like their burgers, but I love their breakfast. I've never had Lotto Burger. And we have one kind of where I live. Yeah, what did uh? I thought they brought one here. Mm -hmm. I think one? there's like two or three of them. So the one on Valencia is kind of near to where I live. Okay. So you hadn't tried it? No. Yeah, I, I'm more of the breakfast than their burgers. Mm -hmm. I like their breakfast. The breakfast, breakfast is, is approved. Really good, yes. Okay. Their breakfast burritos are off the chain. So now we're gonna go in with a lint-free wipe. Or the Mexican pizza without tomatoes. How do you do? You like the Mexican pizza? Fantastic. It's okay. It, it I have it without okay. beans. I don't eat beans. No for holes for Uncle Max because for holes <laughs> give me gas. Talk about strawberry twist. <clears throat> so, my grandpa's theory about beans and gas. He says so. You make your fresh beans, boil it for half an hour, then you empty that water and put fresh water, and that eliminates the gas in the beans. 
Really? And I've been doing it, and I got to say, uh, it does it does work. Really? Yeah. Let me go, like, tell my Uber Eats driver, like, tell Taco Bell <laughs> to uh, boil the beans and then put fresh water <laughs> in them. Taco and boil them Bell, in. I don't think are fresh. <laughs> They're probably not even beans. Really, they probably aren't. We are very gently going to trim something new today. any dry non-living tissue. They were good, but I'd rather have the regular twist. Like, I've heard that, like, if you have a meat that's quite gamey, if you soak it in buttermilk, it gets rid of that flavor, but I don't like game meat anyway, so. Yeah, I don't like any, uh, fresh wild I've... meat. Yeah. I have had horse meat, and it wasn't bad. But I don't think horse meat is, like, gamey. I've had... Elk, I've had ostrich, I've had... Ooh, what does uh, ostrich taste like? I'd be down to try ostrich or I've an ostrich had a, egg. i ostrich um, burger. Mm hmm And, I mean, it, it was good. Did it taste like chicken? It didn't. It, it, it tasted clean. Like, I, that's, I, I could just say that. It tasted real fresh. Mm hmm Just real clean. Like, not... You know, I, I don't like hamburger meat much you mm -hmm. know, because of the, the taste and the smell of it. Like, it's nothing like any of those kind of meat. Like, I'd be down to try, like, um, what do you call it? Buffalo or ostrich, I would be I would be down. Oh, I've had a buffalo burger, too. That's actually really good. Really? Mm-hmm. It's real juicy meat. My daughter calls them glitter fries. <laughs> glitter fries. I like well, glitter fries. Meat, and that's about it. Deer bol bologna is good. Deer bologna? Never in my wildest dreams have I heard of such a thing. Deer bologna. Is it delicious? Mm. It's probably really like nutritious and like super lean. Where is I've my... never even heard of such a thing. I want to use a milky white color as my base to make my neon inks more poppin'. So I'm want to use. BB1, but I can't find it. I know it's here somewhere. Where is my BB Ombre number uno? Bear with me, you guys. She's here somewhere. Because I just used her not that long ago. You got two right there. BB Ombres? No. I should have looked for it earlier. Oh, it always happens in a max video. <laughs> two, six. We gotta get it together, Max. Four, I know, I should have been more prepared. Number uno, you said? Yes. No, no, that's gel polish, number one. Oh, okay. BB Ombre number one is a really beautiful milky white color. Oh, BB Ombre, mm -hmm. so that's gonna be in these, these ones. I don't think I have any BB Ombres yet. Really? And they're all... Um... I, ha I have the um, pink... Pink Bee Ombre? Uh huh. It's a beautiful shade. Yes, I love that one. That's my favorite. There's also a really pretty milky color in Fun Gel, but I don't remember what number it is. I think I have that one too. I love milky nails. Super trending right now. They're really hot and It is. Do I have to get another bottle? Oh my gosh, you guys. I need to get your collection with the specs in it, the black specs. Oh, like an, uh, I know which one you're talking about. Those are really pretty too. Yes, I love it. I've not got any yet, but I'm going to. You're going to have to go shopping now. It's heavenly season, seasonal kind of like salami. She said the, what was it? Oh, the deer bologna. She said it was a uh, seasonal item. Uh huh. A seasonal. Does anybody remember the number of the fun gel, the milky color? I have probably over fifty BB ombres. I have that collection. And they recently went down in price too. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here all day looking for that. 
I have so much stuff. You do. Jeez Louise. <coughs> oh, I found it. It was right there. Yay. Gloria it's moved It's because it. you're looking too hard, Max. Mm-hmm. It's BB-01. We're gonna hit the whole nail with the nice coat of BB01. Missed the majority of the life because IG all of a sudden decided my account didn't exist. But hey, I got it back. Welcome back, mamas. We're just getting started with the design. We're gonna do an ink today because the girls want an ink fantasy. Look how beautiful that cuticle blended out with the refined bit and the easy bit. Yes, they did. A nice thin cut of BB Ombre number one, just so we have a milky base for our. I gotta say, too, the coverage of your gels. Oh my goodness. And in one coat, right? Yes, they truly are what you say they are. Period. Period. Oh, God. And now with these nails, you can do that. And I'm getting ready to use it on my new set. I'm doing like a fairy core set with gel flowers and butterflies. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Some people do email and ask, they're like, how come the viscosity is thicker on some gels? Whether it be like a gel top coater or a color. And because the pigment count is so high, that will mean you will have a thicker viscosity yep. gel because the pigments stay suspended. They don't settle at the bottom. And since it is one coat, it will be slightly thicker, but once it self levels out, you're gonna have beautiful coverage. I have a lot of people say that about the um, uh, the Dom coat. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's so thick though, and I'm like, but the shine, the it's, <laughs> it gives. It's supposed to be thick. Mm -hmm. And it's great for like big chunky glitter gel polishes yeah, too. Yeah, uh, that is my favorite top coat. If you guys would see, like for example, in Korea, they do really thick nails. So like uh, Dom Top sells really well in Korea. We got lots of people ordering it because they really pile on the gel and they want a really thick gel to finish it. So Dom Top sells really well in like, for example, South Korea. And I think I use it because uh, I am a construction worker mm -hmm. and it does not dull, it does not scratch. The shine stays shining. Beautiful, now let's bake these bad boys for one minute. You would like also the queen gel. That would be really pretty. Hi Max, I'm using your sculpted Russian pipe nails XXL and I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, such a lovely shape too. Stunning. You know what? That's the only one I have not tried was the Russian pipe. I've very tried slimming. every other style except the Russian pipe. It's very slimming, very snatched. A lot of people complain about the chunky glitter polishes and it's like, why? I love glitter. Same. They're supposed to be chunky. Who's that? Excuse me. Hello? I'm obsessed with the new queen gel and clear and shiny. Shine, the OG of OGs. You can take it out now, love. Oh, We're yes. I saw a girl <laughs> saying a glitter gel was thick and she thought that was a problem with the gel. Did he tell her something? Did he let her have it? Oh, I always do. This one's empty. Why do I have an empty bottle of velvet? So when working with inks, you guys, you want the nail to be matte. That will give you a smoother, better application for the inks. Queen gel is everything. She is iconic. So we're going to do a nice, very thin coat of velvet over the whole nail surface. And this was going to create kind of like a canvas texture, and that will make your ink application so much better. Yes, some gels are supposed to be thick, and then people are like, oh, this gel is bad. It's like, no, girl, it's supposed to be thick. Yeah, like every time I'm on nail pages, you know, and they're like, oh, it's the best, and I will say it, and then they will say, well, I got one, and it was so thick, and I'm like, that's how it's supposed to be. Yes, if only we lived in a perfect world where gel could be very, very thin and very, very glittery, but that, unfortunately, as of right now, is not possible.
a coat of base coat or clear press on gel but they are supposed to be flexible so it gives yes i did not those girls are not a no case for me she's mm -hmm. like next nice not thin coat time. <laughs> she's like next you know i guess that's why i cannot do other people's nails man i cannot do deal you have to be very patient when you're in the service industry in any kind but when you're touching someone's hand it's kind of like an intimate thing you know you're holding their hand for a while and i think that's my my uh like issue is that i just can't get comfortable with touching someone <laughs> but it definitely can be very very draining sometimes especially when you know you have to eat your words sometimes and that's any in oh, any yeah. situation because you're like oh yeah I could do that and you're like oh it's not giving the way i wanted to give i would hate when someone would say well my, my old nail tech my friend dominique she had um i had recommended some of my old clients to go with her and she's like max i cannot we joke about it because um she was like well this is not how max does it and dominique would say well like well i'm not max so you need to let me do it how i do it <laughs> and i was like what does she expect like for real it's like take it down dude if I buy something and think something is wrong, I will contact customer service and ask. Nothing wrong with that. Everyone is always trying to find something wrong. It's like, just enjoy the fantasy. Period. So let's get our inks ready. We're going to use a Maxi Neon ink set today for all the girls. <clears throat> and I always recommend having an old brush. <clears throat> I've only done family members' nails. I know if I could handle regular, I don't know if I could handle regular customers. You have to be I'm telling you, girl. <laughs> and then if you're mean to to customers, I think they probably write Google reviews or something like that. <laughs> I went to get my nails and she was mean to me. Oh, and I I am a reviewer. I really? do reviews all the time. <laughs> you're like they were mean to me. But I I you know I don't do bad reviews. Um. You know, everybody has their preference and likes and, you Dislikes. Know. We're going to use it from the Pink Crystal Art Brush set. I'm going to use the oval one. But if one. I really love it, I will give a good review. But I never do bad ones. I just give good You're not a gatekeeper. I'm, I'm not a gatekeeper. Oh my gosh, look how cool they look velvety, too. They do. I love look it. Look at that. Oh my yeah. gosh, so chic. A good velvet nail, like a good matte nail, it looks so elegant. I love oh, it. Oh, it does. Matte is it. I'm going to get my king lamp out of the way. But a lot of people complain about matte staining, and I'm like, I've not had that problem. They're not using velvet. Yeah, I'm not, I've not had that problem ever. People always think I'm mad or mean uh, anyways because I have a resting bitch face. <laughs> so if your inks are dried out, like mine are quite old because I've had these since like the beginning of time, you can add a little bit of acetone to the inside and that will revive it. Like Nicki Minaj says, touch me, da -da -da -da, come alive. <laughs> and the pigment sometimes can settle at the bottom, so just give her a quick little shake, shake Sonora. Oh my gosh, these colors are giving me Miami Strip Club vibes. <laughs> So this is just plain acetone. So is this collection still out? Yes. But now it comes in the um, other packaging. This one's oh, old. Oh, new packaging. Yeah, this one's like the original. The OG. The OG of OGs. Like this is like maybe three or four years old. These I'm doing my nails tonight. What color fantasy should I choose? Neon inks. <laughs> Acetone and shake it. <laughs> shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> Ooh, Easter vibes. Not quite. It's a little bit too Miami stripper these vibes that we're going for. <laughs> Not quite the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, sir, Max. I got my super scoop today, and OMG, Max, you did it again. Love She's it. serving it. Mm 
I used my silicone nail mat for the for my four year old daughter to play with her slime and play doh. Oh, that's smart. An easy cleanup too. That is smart. Let's go in with some pink. Nice. Brown face. Where are you going? Ooh, did you get those labels out? Mm -hmm. You don't have any pending ones? No, they're all out. Okay. Like five of them. Like five of them. My head can't stand this little mint anymore. I thought you liked mint. That's gum. <laughs> it's the round repellent. I love mint everything. Mint ice cream is my fave. Really? Yes. What about mint chocolate chip? Yes. That's the best. Found out the hard way though that silly putty sticks to it. <laughs> really? I haven't played with silly. I don't think I ever was one of those kids that liked to play with anything that would like yeah. get me dirty. Me, yep, me neither. This is I'm when, a really, mm -hmm. this is when the enocouture.com apron really kicks through and shines because I don't want to get my Gucci sweater dirty. <laughs> Only thing mint is like, I like is my mint vape from smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I like mint vapes too. Really? <laughs> yeah. Loving it. Should we do yellow or should we do blue? I say blue. Blue? Okay. Let's put the yellow away. What do you guys think of these colors? Are they bright? Just a little, huh? I love it. So the blue is really superly strong pigmented, so just a little bit goes a long way with this. And then we're gonna blend in with a little bit of acetone in a second. It really is pigmented. Look at that. It is given. That's one of my favorite things about your uh glow-in-the-dark pigments mm -hmm. they are they give every time we don't we don't skip out on pigment huh you don't we make sure there's no crumbs left let's put these bad boys away we're gonna go in with one of our art brushes this is just again pure plain acetone and we're gonna tap 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 to begin to blend in the have fantasy you use, uh, alcohol you could but you're gonna have to wait for it to dry really well okay and see a little bit of acetone really gets that fantasy going. Wow, look how cool that looks. That does. You know, tie dye is one of my favorite things too. Really? Mm -hmm. It's like tie-dye for your nails, but better. Yes. And the secret is you don't want to over tap it. You kind of have to let it do its own thing, but just very gently kind of disperse it. Yeah, I can't wait to try mine. And then you can go in and add like line work if you want to. You can have fun with it. That's the most important part, you guys, is that people forget to have fun when it comes to nails. I actually do a lot of art online. Really? Yeah, like characters and stuff. Mm-hmm. I do do some press-ons for some of my friends. Just like here and there? Yeah. Dabbling in the dark arts a little bit. Yeah, just to get out there a little. I'm an artist, so I love to to do art. And experiment and yes. have fun. 
Oh, and your products are so fun to experiment with. You have so much. We have a huge variety of products. You know we have like over 2,000 colors to choose from? Oh, yes. I know it. She's like, I have a hard time choosing, Max. Yeah. I'm... I keep getting like... I finally got the perfect red that I've been, but I got like every single red that you have and they truly are different. <laughs> Especially we have that really true red, which is I think gel polish number five, which is like one of the best selling ones. That's the one that everybody wants because that is like a true, true red. I love it. These nails come out really short, huh? No. <laughs> crazy. And then I'm going to write Goraima going down in yeah. oldie. See how fast and easy it is, you guys, to do design work with inks? It's like Easter. Uh, I, that's what I said. You yeah, think no, so? It's Miami stripper. Yeah, it's Miami stripper to me. <laughs> oh, freaking Sukiana. Sukiana. And then she has the French tip toes because she's a classy lady. Did you watch the whole interview yet or not yet? Of what? Of Suki with that girl. Oh, no, I didn't even watch it at all. And she tells her, she's like, oh, are, are you a white toe kind of girl? And then she tells her what white toenails mean. Suki is wild. So next we're going to go Andrea in. got the white toenails right now. She does? She got the white French tips. She has French tips or the whole toe white? Andrea got the whole French tip white. I got glitter white. And then... Because if you do French, white is one thing. But if you do the whole toenail white, it, Suki said it means Andrea something else. I got the French tip. I got glitter white. And then... The homegirl got all white. Rosemary? Yeah. <laughs> he knew it already. He knew it already. Max, do you have a C charger? I do. Could I buy? Yeah. Here you go. And then I'm going to do a little bit of Could line work. No, it's a little bit lightened. <laughs> it's about to. Are you going to put glitter in it? or? Anything? It has glitter on in the inside already. You put glitter in it? Oh, okay. Where is my black gel polish? She is... Don't this time. She's right there. She's ready to go. A little dab will do ya. This is literally the best black gel polish in the market, you guys. Often imitated, never duplicated. It is so pigmented. It's not even funny. Then I'm going to use one of my liner brushes. This one's from the Vegan 4-Pack, the pink one. And then go in, and I'm just going to do some black line work. Just to accent the nail. Oh, yeah. Just to make the colors pop even more. So the ink gels, you just let them dry, huh? Yep, they're air dry right? products. Mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, that looks so cool. That little bit of black really makes it pop, doesn't it? Yes, I love it. It really brings it together. It's the fantasy. What is going on with IG? It and just, she being insubordinate? It just logged me out. What? And that never happened. We logged you in. What is going on? That is so weird. Look, some of you have been on your Oh. Close it and then go back in. Try that. I've never been logged out before, just random. I'm in love with this look. Are you guys feeling the the fantasy oh, with look, these phalanges? Oh, it was just me. Suddenly, I was logged out. Really? Yeah, that's what somebody else put. So. Me too. Okay, 
What do you guys think? Are you living for the fantasy? Oh, that's so nice. What do you guys think? Should we do some bling too or no? Should we be extra, y'all? Or should we leave it like this? Let's wait till we put the top coat on. Okay, we're gonna bake this now for 30 seconds. Let me clean off my brush. Oh, I love it. Oh, you know what you could do? You could call them and see if they got it. Okay, let's bake that now. Call and ask just in case. Call and ask just in case. It would be it could be a glitch, which is really weird, but Yes, bling extra. Yes, yes. Let less is more, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> wow. And we're gonna seal with Queen Hard Gel Top Coat so that way these bad boys don't go anywhere. You can take it out now. Now we're gonna go in with a nice coat of Queen Hard Gel Top Coat over the entire nail surface. Are you cold, Matt? I'm, uh, I'm always cold. I just got logged out of Instagram too. My phone said it is it has a bug. What? Instagram does? Is she acting up today? Bless you. Thank you. And remember you guys, when you're applying Queen Hard Gel Top Coat, at first it might look a little um, streaky, but then after a few seconds, it'll self-level out and give you that really beautiful diamond-like finish. That's what I love about your products too. They self level. Makes everybody's job so much easier. Queen really is that bee. Period. That's why she's got a crown on. She is the royalty. Oh, I gotta say too, yes. The packaging is so cute. I love like the little, the little touches. And hearts and yes. The little touches matter. I'm planning on using the black maxi ink. Or a black opal set sometime that I saw. Ooh. That sounds fancy, huh? That does. Classy. Make sure you get all those edges, you guys. Now with these nails, you make me want to go dye my hair and go out. Go to, um, the, what is it, the pink slipper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pink slipper. <laughs> you make me want to be a stripper. <laughs> we just have to take off your teeth first. <laughs> I wonder what songs they dance to at the pink slipper. Who knows? Mustang Sally. <laughs> Did any of you guys get logged out put on Instagram? Yes, I did. Someone said they wanted aesthetic packaging and I told them check out email Couture. Period. <laughs> I did, and so did the model. <laughs> so what did they say? Should we do diamonds, or should we leave them like yes, this? Yes, a, a lot of them said, bling, go extra. Only one said, uh, less is more. Less is more. In Artesia, mm -hmm. New Mexico. Yeah, Roswell. Less In is Roswell. More. <laughs> In Roswell, they just do sport length French chips. That's it. That's all you see out there. Maybe a little diamond in the corner if you're lucky. If you're lucky. For prom. If they're feeling a little bougie. My phone said it had a bug and to try cleaning the gadget.
Hmm, I wonder what's going on with IG. Bling, bling, bling. You want to make sure you get all those sides, you guys. That's why all having... The nicks and crannies. That's right. That's why it's really important to have good lighting when you're working, so that way you can see if you're missing anything, so that way you can what go back in and touch it up. between 123GO and the 123GO black label? Um, did you read the product description yet, my love? If you read the product description, you'll be able to like re get really in-depth to what the difference is and what's going to work best for you and accommodate your needs and or wants. Virgo put less is not more when it comes to max sets. We need all of the everything. <laughs> we got the length, we got the design. So let's go ahead and bake that now for a minute. Ya se fue, tenía estudio ahora. Se fue, pero se fue muy temprano. Ahorita te las hago. Mande. I have some big snazels right here, but I can't. Oh, here it is. This stuff is great, especially if you have conics on the side of like your homeboy. What is that? What? What you just said. Chronic sinusitis. Uh -huh. The worst thing ever. It's like you have a runny nose that gets dry and crusty all the time and it doesn't go away. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what my husband has. So I sleep with like a humidifier. This stuff is he great. He has so, such like just a runny nose all the time and he thinks it's allergies but he doesn't go in to see. And I don't like to take like Sudafed or anything like that every day. So that really helps. <laughs> Insta needs to stop trying to ruin our fantasy. <laughs> For reals, why are you being such a hater? Come on, girl. Come on, Insta. <laughs> For real. And these are dry. Can you believe that? Yes. You can touch them. They're not going anywhere. Oh, I am loving it. Loving it. I'm about to go be a stripper girl. <laughs> I'm about and, uh, to go out tonight. <laughs> At, um, what's the club in New Mexico called? Pink Slipper. The Pink Slipper. <laughs> We're going to use a little bit of gummy gel. You know, I've not used the gummy gel, but I use the, um, this one. Which is, a pre no. I Heart Diamond for, Gel? Uh-huh, the I Heart Diamond Gel. That one's great for small to medium rainstorms. Yes. Well, you know, I like I like uh, doing a top, uh, putting the diamond gel and then top coat over it. Mm -hmm. That works so great. Oh, a lot of people don't like putting um, gel on top of the diamonds because you lose the cut. No, I put the diamond gel, mm -hmm. just the gel, and then a top coat over it. Oh, okay, it like shiny. Uh-huh, and then yes. put the diamonds in, and oh, it's perfect. But with gummy time. gel, because we did update the formula maybe about a year or so ago, mm -hmm. you, it has the, it's no wipe now. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I need to check to see if the one I have is. How I got I got one in the scoop, but I've not used it yet. Oh, you don't know how old it is? No, I got it in the scoop, which was about like two, three months ago. It should be, I want to say no wipe. Okay. Very discreet diamonds. Yeah, I got that one in there, some... Um, Bubblegum gel, which I love the bubblegum gel. I use that a lot. Look at that. Very simple, huh? Loving it. And I'm going to freeze it for a few seconds. And then you can go back in with a little bit more gummy. No, 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 yeah. The one I have is the one of the older ones. Still have to get a new one. So yes, if your um, gummy gel says like I think 2017, 2018, 2019, then it's the older formula. If it says 2020, 2021, 2022, then it is no wipe. I do have a question. How long does a product? say a gel last how many years 
Uh, five to seven. Oh, good. And once opened, I suggest using it within 12 months, but and honestly, I mean, it'll last you a really long time. Good to know. I always wondered that. How long it's good for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a super fair question. Add a little bit more. Oh, that looks so pretty, huh? It does. Very ethereal. So how's everybody's allergies been here? Horrible. There too. I am the king of always having allergies. <laughs> so is my husband. As you can hear. He is the king of allergies. But I was actually, I had the it's like. It's all year long. Like he does never have relief. I had a really crappy flu like a few weeks ago. Oh, like we did I didn't too. come to work for like four days. I was hor miserable. Miserable. We were sick about like two weeks, two weeks ago too. Really? Yeah, my kids stayed home from school. We stayed from work. Like yeah, flu like symptoms? Work. Yes. Um, RSV. I think that's good. Okay, let's make that 30 seconds. Yeah, we had RSV, unfortunately. What's that? Uh, respiratory. Uh, what was it? And it sounds miserable. It's a respiratory infection. Ooh. So you had to take antibiotics? Yes. Just went to check mine, says 2020, but I've always used a top coat because that's how you used it. Yes. <laughs> but if you have liquid gummy, you can still go around the edges and you'll be fine. And we're only going to freeze this 30 seconds, so that's okay, because we're going to do the final cure for one minute. So take liquid gummy, and we're going to seal all the little edges and nooks and crannies. So it's like gummy gel, but just liquid. It's very liquid. It's very thin, so it's designed to like be really precise. That's why it has that little needle tip applicator, I and it that. seals in all the little edges, so that way they don't go anywhere. When I got my mystery bundle, it came with the ink set, but two were completely empty. Is there a way I can get the two? Yeah, we just actually did it today. Just add, take some acetone and drop it in, and shake, shake, shake. This look is everything, exactly the inspiration I needed. For the fantasy. Took my four-year-old to the doctor today. They said okay. it's just allergies, so hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully. That one's still on the other okay, let's bake that now for one minute. And cat hair. Oh, I have the worst allergies to cats. Oh, yeah, we do too. My mom was a cat lady when we were younger. What about Nana Jenny? <laughs> No, she actually isn't. Is she a dog lady? She is. She has an ugly little one. <laughs> what is it called? You know what? I don't know. You I don't barely know saw Jenny's it. dog's name. <laughs> I barely saw it yesterday and I didn't even... Her crazy talk didn't even... Uh, let me ask her whose dog or what the name was or anything. But I did see a dog there. No, no, Jenny's a maf mafiosa. Is she really? Yeah. <laughs> She's the queen of the south? She is. Literally. Queen of the southwest. South side. <laughs> Beautiful. I have two cats and find out. Last year huh? I have allergies to cats. sounds just like yours. What's well, the same make? No, that's stupid black. Well, where the paper goes on. That's what... The roller? Uh, we need some uh, WD-40. <laughs> Check make sure. Silicone spray. For real. Check make sure everything is nice and dry. And then we're going to hit the nail with a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. 
I've had had my cats for 15 years and they are not going anywhere. <laughs> She's a cat lover. Meow meow. I'm obsessed with the little video of the cat that says I'm alone. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Have you I show it to you? Yeah. It's so cute. There you go. What do you guys think? A very short, discreet length. Very short. <laughs> Really? I think I did a mom baby Raina once like this and she took him off. She was like, I can't do anything. The longer the nail, the closer to Jesus. Look at that. The longer the nail, the longer the, <laughs> the, longer the nail, the bigger the the party girl. <laughs> and duck. Why not? For and then some. What do you guys think? Do you love it? What's everybody saying? Look at that blend at the cuticle. Isn't it Gorgeous, stunning? It's very pretty. Beautiful nails. They are giving. They're kind of giving you like a little bit of butterfly too. Beautiful as always. Butterfly strip. That could be your name. You're a stripper in Miami, and your name is Butterfly. Ooh. Absolutely. Focus camera. There we go obsessed well my lovelies that's gonna wrap up our little demo for today i hope you guys enjoyed it the nails came out so beautiful thanks so much for coming out last minute miss tina i really appreciate it Thank we're gonna head on all oh, anytime we're gonna head on over to tiktok do the other hand don't forget you guys to take advantage of all the incredible sales right now here at enocatour.com using promo code green 20 and we will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video bye everybody